Greg, we could see a track meet tonight. Two of the top fast break teams in the league, Kevin. As far as keys, limiting turnovers is going to be big because they each want to get out and run when they get the chance. Now the starting group for the visitors. And it's blocked. And that goes out of bounds. And they retain possession. A sensational block that definitely deserves another look. And right out of the gate, trying to set the tone defensively, you got to love that energy. Fades and shoots. It's up and it's off the mark. He's over one. Poke loose. And he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. And an efficient start here offensively, working it inside for the easy two. David makes it off the glass. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. He'll gladly take those. And you love seeing that great mobile one drive a second time. And you got to love the aggression that he had taking it to the rim there. Sets the tone in a close game like this one. From 13. Still looking for his first make after that miss. He's 0 for 2. Just around a minute and a half into the first quarter. To the paint and he banks in the layup that's just smart basketball right there finding a way to get a high percentage shot on offense to the middle and he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed and that's how you lead a team literally Here in the first quarter with about two minutes gone by. Misses the baby hook. Gone two of five here, making 40% so far to start out the game. First one falls for him. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Probably as close to a sure thing as you can have at the free throw line. Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. That was a good look for him from mid-range, but just couldn't make the defense pay. Floats one up. No good. Passes it to Rosario. Stolen. A 
About three minutes gone here in the first quarter. Six to shoot. Here's the three. And they force the shot violation. clock violation. Great D. Pass to Lito. First quarter of action, just under three and a half minutes played. Five on the clock. Offline with his three. Gone just two of seven so far. A little bit of a slow start for them. And that one drops. And their post play has been really solid right off the bat. David. Up and in, off to an efficient start, two for three from the field. Yeah, he was able to sneak it to the rim. Had enough room to get just like an easy layup. Gotten three of eight shots to fall for them here in the first quarter. And he lobs it up toward the rim. That's tipped. Here's Lido. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Five to shoot. And he hits it to tie the game up. Really, the defense is helpless to stop a layup right there. Just too much of an advantage in terms of the mismatch. And there's the pass to Fuller. To the wing on the left. Takes the three. It's good. And he makes his first shot of the game. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. Pass to Rosario. From 13, does not find the basket. His second miss, he's now one for three. Passes it to Fuller. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. And you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. First free throw is good. And so he makes both from the line. gone 50% from the field to this point. Four of eight. <laughs> 
Now off the inbound. He takes it up and lays it in. Love how selfless he is setting brick screens like this. Plays like that right there are what help create easy scoring opportunities. With the drive. That one's in his first bucket of the game. He's one for two. Gone five of nine from the field here in the first. David laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Six points for him. Yeah, and there it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established great inside position. Out to the wing. Takes the 13-footer. Misses for the fifth time this game. Marking at one for six. From 13, and that one is off. Putting it around 42% since the opening tip. Down to five on the shot clock. A three-pointer off the mark. And even with good coverage defensively that time, he has confidence to drill the three. Pass to Lido. The pass to Rosario. And he uses the glass on the way I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-opening. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line.
That free throw missing. He hits the second from the line. Gone 7 to 13, just over 50% from the floor. Some good looks. Down low. Whoops, they pick off the pass. Just five to shoot. Launches it. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. When he has that much space, he's a pretty good bet to nail the three. Another shot. And he lays it up and in. The tenacity on that interior. Just battling, bringing that effort and will for second chance points. A floater. He can't get that one to fall. Gone 8 of 15 from the field. Shooting above 50% here tonight. And the home team has possession. They trail by three. Shot clock at six. Off on the layup. Oh, you, you've got to be able to deliver when you get a bunny like that. That's just too easy of a shot to miss. That shot missing. Looking well right out of the gates here at around 50%. Releases from 15. And it's off the back rim. No good. And it's denied. And the ball ends up out of bounds. They'll keep possession. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And he knocks down the first one. A 
off on that one so he goes one for two at the line. 141 left in the first quarter on the wing hill. Knocks it loose. Just five on the clock. To the wing right side. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. You know, maybe he's not one of the elite sharpshooters, but even still, that's not a shot the D can afford to give him. He's guarded by Hill. Shoots from 12, and that one goes long. Being well right out of the gates here at around 50%. There's 49 seconds left here in the opening quarter. to the left wing shot clock at five and oh boy a lot of contact there but he gets the call and will shoot two Ties it up, and this next one could give them the lead. Now the free throw is good, now leading by one. 33% here in the first quarter. And there's the whistle. Three second violation. Twenty three seconds left to play in the first quarter. From ten feet out. And he tries off the glass but it's no good. At the end of one, a closely contested game so far. Up by one. Don't go anywhere, folks. We'll be back in just a moment. And this has been a fairly close game through the first quarter, and we'll see what happens here in the second. And guys, what's your take on the home team so far? 
Well, this is the edge that great rim protection can give you. You can't overstate how much interior defense can shape the game. They have a distinct advantage there, and they have turned it into a lead. Greg, we know the league's cracking down on those dangerous plays that risk a player's health. Why was that less of a focus when you play? Uh, that's a great question. You know, I think it's smarter to approach the game this way. We, we don't want to have unnecessary injury because of guys maybe just taking it a little too far with the physicality. You get a 32% clip from the field. They're just not executing. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. No issues on that one. Good work all around. Doing well. They're at 45%. Tipped away. David. Not going to go that time. Inside. An easy two points on the layup. He's got six. It's harder to thread those passes inside, but the reward is evident. Just over a minute gone here in the second quarter. Tries from 10. Yes, that goes in. Uh, okay, that's on the defense. You got to show more fight if you want to stop him. Missed inside. Gone one of three to start out the second quarter. We're closing in on two minutes played here in the second quarter. Pass to Rosario. Just five on the clock. No good that time. Gone two or three from the field here to open the second quarter. Misses from short range. They timed up the layup perfectly. The D saw it develop and got there to bother the shot. And he drives in, kicks it to Lido. The tray drops in the tray. We've seen the lead change hands quite a bit in this one. And guys, I think each team knows they can win this game. Just a matter who can catch that momentum. And a little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the second quarter. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. It's his first trip to the line. That free throw good from Lido. Both teams will make substitutions. And Lido drops them both. about 33 percent not happy with their play on that end guys are looking for a spark here yeah a cold stretch offensively for sure yeah things not going their way and he wants to just try to talk this one over good timeout if you ask me they have the momentum and coach wants to find a way to try and stop it
Second quarter of play with almost three minutes gone. To the inside. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three second violation. Pass to Rosario. It's tipped. And for those of you just joining us, we're in the second quarter with about three minutes gone by. Just five to shoot. Here's Fuller. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. You spent two seasons, Richard, with LeBron James in Cleveland. What was it like to play with LeBron? Well, I like to think that LeBron was playing with me the entire time. That's the way I viewed it, but it was amazing. I should have reworded that. I'm sorry. Thank, My mistake. Thank, thank you. I, I think LeBron James was outstanding to play with just from a camaraderie standpoint, and he always wanted to make the right pass, which, you know, for pundits, they complain about it, but for a teammate, you love it. You love playing with a guy that tries to play the right way night in and night out. His understanding of the game must be off the charts, correct? It, it it is so ridiculous the way that he just sees the game before it's happening. He is easily one of the smartest players that I have ever been around. Both good from the line that time. gone two of six in the field in the second quarter so far here in the second quarter just under three and a half minutes played knocked away five on the clock three-pointer that's no good, and now he's missed two and made two. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And he makes the first. Good on both. And so here's the home team. And the officials signal the backcourt violation. Not very careful there. a floater go and yes it's good 
eight points for him. And now let's take one more look at that great mobile one drive. And putting that pressure on the rim. That's what it's all about, threatening with that attack. Pass to Lito. Lock at six. Fires from the line. No good. He has missed three of his five attempts this game. Gone 50% from the floor in the second quarter. Three of six. Here's the teardrop. Lito with the rebound. Gone just two of eight shooting here in the second quarter. To the paint. David. Count the bucket. Coming off a perfectly placed assist. Saw the angles and led him right to the hoop with that pass. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Clearly a foul. And the first one drops. And so he hits both. It's a close game here in Philadelphia. Here's the pass to Lito. Out to the right wing. Four on the clock. And he can't bank that one in. And around 43% from the floor in the second quarter. Inside, it's deflected. Always going up for the alley oop here. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley oop attempt there. Six on the shot clock. Down low. Looks good, is good. Bucket number four from the field. He's taken only six shots. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. Being 41% for the game. Right wing. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And this is his second trip to the line tonight. That free throw, no good.
And the second free throw, good. Gotten a little under 50% of their second quarter shots to find the mark. Four of nine, all told. He takes it in. No good with the layup. And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. This is why he's out there. In situations like this, he stands tall to prevent points. Here's Lido. Six points for him. Got it. Good job in the low post. Lido's got eight points here in this quarter. Nice job getting inside for the layup. Got the D thinking. Jump shot. Gave a little pump fake. And then off to the races. And they just can't seem to get going offensively. And coach called his timeout to try and reset things on offense. Shake them up a bit so they can hopefully start getting some shots to fall. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. First free throw is good. Both shots good from the strike. 36% in the second quarter. They really haven't found their rhythm yet offensively here. They get a hand on it. Five to shoot. From about 19 feet. Gone four of ten in the second quarter from the field. And it's blocked. And they get it back. 
tries again, and it's in there. Second chance points always hurt. Just not enough effort to block out. Yeah, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say they need to emphasize rebounding going forward. contact on the shot and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line no clue how he got that one to fall he's gone three for four from the line That free throw good from Lido. Gone 5 of 12 from the field here in the second. And a missed layup. Being well, third 45%. Fires the three. A shot, no good. Just 34% from the floor. And terrific work on the offensive glass when he picks up two. I just love when teams make it work down low. 38% in the second quarter. Offensively, they look a little bit confused. To the right side. The shot. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here That's for good. one more at the line. He's got That's a good. knack for those putbacks, so you have to be aware of that defensively. Get a body on him. And this is his fourth trip to the free throw line tonight.
home team on D. They trail by one. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. No, I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. And the first one at the line is good. And he makes both free throws. from the field 44 percent not bad to the middle they get the rebound goes back up he lays it in being 40 percent since the beginning of the second quarter His second shot goes in off to a good start, two for two. I mean, if the defender is going to play off like that, then you know what's going to happen. There are going to be points put on the board. And play stops, whistle on what looks to be an illegal screen. Uh, beyond the leaning, you could see his feet more set on that screen. Easy call. Look, guys get away with this all the time, but on this occasion, he got caught. Gone 7 of 16, shooting just under 50% here in the second quarter. Come around. Six to shoot. The second effort. And he sinks the layup. Nine points in the game so far. 136 left to play here in the half. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. He misses the free throw. And he's good on the second. There's 126 left in the first half of the game. A floater, and that's two points on the layup. He knew what he wanted to do all along. The teardrop. 41% from the field here in the second. To the inside. Oh, 
Lock at six. Can't get it to fall. 47% in the second quarter. 41 seconds left now here in the second. From downtown, it will not find the hoop. It's his third miss. He has made two. 43% from the floor. Puts it up from 12. And we've reached halftime in this one. Up six. Live from Philadelphia. You're watching 2K Sports. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and the Jet. Kenny Smith, let's get to it. Checking out the visiting team. Kenny, how'd you feel about it? We have to love the second unit. I mean, the effort they display, they're doing much more than giving the starters a break. We're seeing real intensity from them, particularly on the offensive end. And, big fella, let's get your thoughts on the home team. You have to play with physicality, but you also have to be under control. They're giving up too many free throws. That can be the difference in a close game like this. You know they're having discussions right now about how to turn that around. That's all for now. Say goodbye to the folks. Thanks goodbye, for folks. joining us. Third quarter, just about ready to begin. And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. Shot clock at six. Barry is the easy one. He has six. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Yeah, as soon as these guys feel contact, they are just disappearing like they're not even there. You got to show some fire and keep defending. Inside. And the layup's good off the glass. It's a great move, and he catches the defense completely off guard. Yeah, taking it right to the rim. One imagines that might be discussed at halftime. That's going to be on the film. And about a minute of action so far in the third quarter. That's tipped. And he lobs it up. Pushing it up. The putback controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. You know we talk about it all the time, guys. Those second chance buckets, always the result of that extra effort. David. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. The first one falls. Come on. 
And good on the second, so he makes them both. Just over a minute and a half have passed here in the third quarter. Over to the wing. Oh, and there's the alley-oop. Oh, phenomenal alley-oop slam there. They are taking advantage of a team that looks lost out there. Out left to the wing. Pass to Rosario. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. The first free throw is good. He's off on the second. Gone three or four so far in the third quarter from the field. Pretty good start to the half. Out to the right wing. Got a piece of it. And it ends up out of bounds. And they'll keep possession. And right now, let's watch that terrific swat. And boy, did he get up quick to reject that shot. That's as fundamental as defense gets. From the inbound, good for another bucket. He's made half a dozen now, six for eight on the night. Nice execution on the inbound. Just how you want to draw it up. Down to five on the shot clock. Driving inside. Lays it up and banks it in. Eight points for him. You know we have to see that great mobile one drive one more time. And you can just sense his determination trying to do everything he can to keep this game within reach. Right around three minutes into the second half. Here's Fuller. Two free throws coming up and they call the shooting foul. He's gone two for two at the line so far. And the first one drops. That one falls, so he hits both of them. And so here's the home team. Nine-point game. Timeout, timeout.
Passes to Rosario. Six on the shot clock. Throws it up high. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. This is his first free throw of the game. That free throw, no good. Good on the second free throw. Third quarter of basketball here in just a little under three and a half minutes gone by. He lobs up the alley -oop pass. Oh, my goodness. Say, save that one. I, I want to see that again. Me too. Just absolutely beautiful. Doing well. They're at 45%. Down low. Here's Fuller, and two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. And this is his third trip to the line tonight. And that one misses. And he sinks the second. Pass to Lido. Shoots. Offline from the top of the key. Gone five of seven from the field in the third quarter. Let's see if they can keep it up. Lido with the rebound. Lido's got four rebounds in this game. Gone two of three from the field to start the second half. Just five on the clock. And the next one puts him in the bonus. Four on the shot clock. It falls for his fifth field goal tonight. Now shooting five for eight. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that just comes down to a lack of effort. The defender has to do a better job fighting through the screen. 
up and no good. Brings his field goal percentage down to 70% in 10 shots. Over to the wing. Sinks that one from the post. Lito's got 16. I love the spirit he's shown tonight, particularly on the offensive end. He's going to keep putting up shots regardless of the score. That's the kind of player he is. Going inside. It's good. 18 points for him. This man has entered the zone. Great shooting performance from him all game long. Some timeouts you just know you're going to get yelled at. And with these turnovers, I'm going to tell you it's not going to be a very pleasant timeout. So it's both teams making substitutions here. And so here's the home team. They trail by nine points. David. It falls for his fifth field goal tonight. Now shooting five for eight. Gone six of ten from the field in the third quarter. And the pass to Fuller. Launches a three. Knocks down the three ball. He's got ten. Uh, unwilling to let up even for a moment. That's his killer instinct just fanning the flames. Always plays hard until the final whistle no matter what the situation is. Now here is Hill. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Count it. Oh, check out the handles. Their nasty spin move had his man grabbing for air. Shoots from the elbow. No good. Shot missing. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And the first one at the line is good. So he gets them both. gone 7 of 12 from the floor since coming out of the break. And they call an illegal screen here. Uh, that's going to draw a whistle every time down the floor. Not even close to being a legal screen. 
that's a very avoidable turnover. You gotta focus on the details. Into the lane. The layup off target. Thing in the third quarter has been brilliant up around 58%. Balls knocked loose. Shot clock at five. That one off the back iron and out. Gone six of eight on field goal attempts in the third. A 75% clip. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. You know, this is not an area where they expect him to contribute. You know, he's a guy that shot below 70% last season. And he knocks down the first one. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time about 42 percent so far to the wing right side to the paint there's the steal the offensive rebound and foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And he makes the first. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Gone 7 of 13 in the third quarter so far. Just above 50%. From 12 feet out. And misses it off the right side of the rim. Gone 6 of 9 from the floor here in the second half. They've got to be happy with that. To the inside. Fader on the way. The shot, no good. Being well here in the third, about 50%. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly.
First free throw is good. He's perfect from the line this time. Being a stellar 60% since the halftime break. David. Not this time. And it's blocked. And that one ends up out of bounds. No key possession. First one falls for him. He hits both from the stripe. on a solid 6 of 11 when shooting here in the third quarter. Got a piece of it. To the middle. The layup missed. Doing well. They're at 45%. From deep, buries it from three-point range. And he found the perfect spot behind the arc there. Big gap in the deep. We've got 155 left in the third quarter of the game. Basket, good. Seven points in the game. That's the kind of aggressive and assertive play they need as we get closer and closer to crunch time. To the left side wing. <laughs> Offensive rebound. And he drops in the way up off the glass. These are exactly the kind of shots they want to generate each and every time down the floor. And it's blocked. We've got 113 left to play here in the third. Five to shoot. 
Shot from free throw range. And he overshot that one, missing, being 40% from the field. 50 seconds left to play in the third. The second chance effort, and the layup is up and in. Gone better than 53% from the floor since halftime. Shooting 8 of 15. 30 seconds left here in the third quarter. Fails to score here. He has made 5 of 12 to this point. Being in the second half so far, about 45%. Nice pass. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. Well, check out that assist. That's a pair of teammates that are clearly on the same page. Let's it go from the baseline and nails it. He's got eight. And we've reached the end of the third. Up by five. And we're just moments away from the start of the fourth quarter. Stay with us. And I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. at six puts it up from 12 here's fuller he gets it in there i know what they say defense wins championships but you need some bucket getters too now oh what an impressive dribble drive that replay brought to you by mobile one and trying to extend this lead no better way than playing north and south getting after it No good from 11 feet. Look like he just rushed it there. Just maybe take a little bit more time in the future. Fourth quarter just getting started. One minute in the books. It's blocked. Pass Toledo. Down low. David and that'll be two free throws coming up officials on the call with the foul wow wow he got whacked on that one shouldn't be much debate there And the first one drops. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Gone one of three from the field to start the fourth quarter. 
We've gone about a minute and a half into the fourth quarter. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. First free throw is good. He's perfect from the line this time. We're just over a minute and a half now into the fourth. Tries from 10. Good on the bucket. He's got 19. Second minute off the clock now in the fourth. Out to the right wing. That one no good. Passes it to Rosario. Six to shoot. Just a little under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. He couldn't stay in bounds, and that's going to be a turnover. Gone one of four since the end of the third quarter. Comes up empty down low. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. Excellent D, avoided fouling, and got in perfect position to alter that shot. And he makes the first. And so he's able to get one of two. That one miss was huge. He had a chance to turn this into a one possession game. He gets that one. And you don't want to allow too many of those short ones with the game right now in the balance. Pass to Lito. Eleven feet away. And the jumper is on the mark. Time out, time out. When guys are moving the ball, sharing it, it makes the game so much more fun, both as a player and as a fan. 
Well, adjustments are a part of the game, and the coach sees something he doesn't like here. Yeah, this is a good opportunity to get your group together and make sure everyone is on the same page. And now the latest from our reporter, David Aldridge. Hey, guys. Well, during the break, I was able to catch the message the visiting team coach gave to his team. He said, I want us to play as though we're behind. We're good when we play with urgency. We're bad when we become complacent. Don't become complacent. Let's go. Guys? Thank you, David. Five on the clock. Tries a three. No good on the shot. Gone two of three from the field to get the fourth quarter started. Inside, David. Second chance shot. Made that one. It's his seventh of the contest. Seven for 15 from the floor. Yeah, clutch play there. No reason to risk the jumper when you can get to the rack. Reading the defense, sensing the open. He does not hesitate. Just five to shoot. Poked away. Here's Rosario, and that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle, and two shots coming up. No question, he got bumped on that shot. No good on that one. And he's good on the second. Plenty of drama in this one so far. Yeah, don't be surprised if it isn't decided until the final buzzer. To the right side. Knocked loose. Baseline try. The shot comes out gone three of five here in the fourth quarter pretty good numbers coming out of the break here's Lido count the bucket and he's got a free throw coming up as well and they are amped up right now I mean after trailing for so long and then trimming that margin finally they take the lead
gone just two of eight in this fourth quarter. The final quarter not treating them well so far. Down low. That one's off. Still out of sync. Okay, they came close there to tying it up. You love the intensity out there right now. Close game. Both teams leaving it all out there. Just outstanding distribution. This is the kind of team chemistry that you love to see. Now the pass to Fuller. Fires for three. Four for five with that first miss in five attempts from the floor. And looks like the illegal pick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. Yeah, and he has to take that long, slow walk back to the bench here. He he'll watch the rest of this one from the sideline. They've been looking out of sorts in the last few possessions. And this is when you need to be patient. Find a high percentage shot and have some floor balance. Six on the shot clock. Tipped away. That shot off the mark. And just 39% from the field struggling to find that net. Takes the 13-footer. Lito with the rebound. Lito's got his sixth rebound on the night. To the middle. Outside Hill. Pass to Lito. Good once again. That makes him eight for nine this game. Well, he's been doing it all night. Why not go back to him? Yeah, just keep feeding him. That guy is a man on a mission. And the defense, well, they don't have much of an answer. Can they get it? Can't get the layup. Boy, you can just see the frustration growing on their faces. Nothing going their way. In a major drought, need to find some sort of momentum. Good work there as it goes. And that's right where they wanted to go with the ball in rhythm. It's an eight-point differential. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. They grab their own miss. Passes it to Fuller. Shot clock at six. No good from outside. Gone seven of ten shooting the ball since the start of the fourth quarter. To the inside. And there's the slam dunk to finish it off. And creating a little separation here gaining some confidence yeah they've locked in during this stretch if they keep it up their lead will only continue to grow looking to get back on track here bucket is good nice ball movement there delivered the pass right on time gone eight of 11 from the field in the final period great shooting down the stretch right wing Pass to Lito. It's good from the top of the key. Lito's got 13 points in the second half. And this is how you want to come out of the half. Prolific and efficient. Well, I credit some of that to their communication out on the floor. They are attacking as a unit.
Down to five on the shot clock. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. No good on the free throw. He hits the second from the line. it up around 51 percent they're getting good looks David good on the triple he's got 26 he's just stretching him out the defense has got to do a better job of staying attached to him and the lack of defensive pressure on shots like that is a big reason they're down by double digits count it and with that basket he's now 9 of 15 from the floor and look at how quick he was to bite on the pump fake left his feet way too soon to the paint a good finish at the rack off the slick feed when you allow good scores to get uncontested shots at the rim no wonder you're losing that's a great possession put your best players in a position to succeed and they're picking up a lot of fouls already in the penalty. Not a good sign. They need to focus on moving their feet and maintaining a good defensive position. And now we present our New Balance Player of the Game. Yeah, and his performance has been a jaw dropper. It must have been feeling great coming into the building tonight. Because once he hit the court, it was all working for him. He was in a zone. This is as good a game as we've seen him play. And this crowd can't get enough of it. When he explodes like this, it becomes a special atmosphere in here. loads Lido with the rebound it's almost like he's trying to make things hard on himself you know he's just got to slow the game down try to get some easy ones
with some arc. Got a hand on it. It's two on one. And he could not get that one to go. What a contact, and he'll go to the line for two. The first one falls. Both good from the line that time. 156 left in the fourth quarter. Driving to the basket. Lays it up off the glass. And there's a minute 45 left to play in the final quarter. Uses the glass to finish the layup. And the home team has possession. Fades away and sinks the tough shot. How do you stop a good fadeaway jumper? Yeah, that's a trick question. You know. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. And he knocks down the first one. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. 112 left in the fourth quarter of this one. <laughs> Off with the layup. Being 38% from the field, a pretty weak showing for them. He gets it to fall. That makes it just a single digit lead. There's 49 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Off target at the rim. I, I think it's safe to call this one a wrap. Yeah, they fought as hard as they could. Just wasn't in the cards tonight. Offensive rebound. Well, he's not the tallest guy on the roster, but man, can he board or what?
And so the home crowd treated to a win. Some good moments throughout this one, but they had the clear advantage down the stretch. Yeah, I mean, I, I love the way they executed on both ends of the floor, completely under control for the vast majority of the game. And whenever there was a misstep, they just didn't allow it to fester. And that's why they're going to walk away with the win. And that'll do it, folks. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. See you next time.